and Sandstorm and then beat Guichabu right after that, that will get him inside of the top eight. But that's much, much, much easier said than done as Sandstorm is bringing in the Mirage here. And of mm -hmm. course, BB Balloon Boy is bringing in the Devil Jin. The Devil Jin and Sandstorm looking to get that Vortex started with Scythe. Um, Balloon Boy on the gauntlets right now. Oh, try to get that Nair drag down. Now, well, the one thing that I'm wondering here is Sandstorm admitted himself that he's mostly just been playing Tekken recently. Okay. So I don't know if that's going to help him here. There is a Devil Jin on the screen. Or if it's going to hurt him because he's going to be like, he sees the Devil Jin and he's like, oh, I'm going to be ready to like, I'm going to high block, then I'm going to low kick. Uh oh, that's the wrong game. All of a sudden, I've eaten a signature. Balloon Boy has the lead so far. We know Zariel also has a really strong signature kit. So you're stacked on top of him. Boom, hit that D sig. They're reasonably spammable June okay and Sandstorm pretty good edge guard attempt there but it's getting close to even both are looking for their oh their knockout confirms dodging the sig there very smart from Sandstorm Sandstorm playing it kind of safe yeah I think he's giving respect to balloon boy so far letting those uh, exclamation points come out instead of pushing that edge guard situation because again the respect he's giving is very rightfully earned by Balloon Boy as he gets the first stock here against Sandstorm. That's a great way to start this one. You did see that down signature coming out earlier. Sandstorm has a down signature of his own. It locks him in place. He throws out those spears around him. It's like a force field of spears that also attacks your opponent. Similar to Balloon Boy's, but the hitboxes are a little bit more vertical than horizontal. I love the little overshoot, the dash forward before throwing out that D-Sig. Very smart from Sandstorm. And that's like part of the classic D-Sig design is that it locks you in place Place. It's above you, it's around you, exactly like Taro's axe down sig as well. So it's kind of similar in that vein. Nice recovery there from Balloon Boy. Just kind of moving around, playing that good nooch, that good neutral. We're about yeah. two minutes into this game. I, again, Sandstorm like really hasn't gone for anything oh. too huge. He does go for that ground pound right over the corner. Oh, there's the D-Light into the ground pound, takes that stock. Now we're seeing a little bit momentum in Sandstorm's favor. It's not like the 10 hit scythe strings, but still right. he's barely in the orange compared to Balloon Boy. Mm -hmm. I like that sort of starting out slow and then ramping up yes. as the game goes on. You're getting more knowledge, more data as you play your opponent more and Sandstorm definitely knows how to capitalize on that. And that especially happens when you have two players who are of, let's be honest, a different caliber. Like we're talking about the literal GOAT here when we talk about Sandstorm. So any major difference in stratification, okay, all of a sudden that neutral signature gravity canceling that, getting back to the stage, expecting the high recovery. Maybe that was just baiting the low recovery from Sandstorm because immediately, June, you saw that dare come out. Yeah, Sandstorm just controlling center here, tried to get a ledge trap there, but Balloon Boy, oh! <laughs> So funny. Every single time <laughs> I see it, it's, 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 on, it's so disrespectful. Yeah. It's just like bonking someone on the head. My favorite is Cannon because it's just a big clunk <laughs> right on their head. Oh, and they all do 1%, right? Yep. It's very funny to just get smacked by a 1% move. Oh, oh, he was just able to stay in front of that June. Wow, the spacing to avoid that side six. So smart from Balloon Boy. All right. Now Sandstorm's got a fresh stock here. Can he get this knockout? Okay, the unarmed neutral air giving him enough space to pick up the scythe. There's the recovery. Balloon Boy caught in the middle of some of his in-air movement economy. You saw the sweat beads coming out mm -hmm. as he used his dodge to get over the wall, reset the jumps. That time Sandstorm covered low. BB Balloon Boy ended up going high over back on the wall, staying there as long as he can. The D-Light right over the corner. It's that little poke over the corner. Then, of course, we know he did the active input to keep it on the same yeah, we side. Got, we got 150 gold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Daily login bonus. Let's Woo! go. We love that. Using the strong D-Light option rather than grabbing your opponent and throwing them behind you for that more like spatial control, you go for the stronger hit, the one with higher force when you're looking for that KO. And, and I like what you pointed out. Balloon Boy was mixing up how he's getting onto the stage so well, but there's only so much you can stand the Sandstorm ledge traps, and eventually he was able to get that D-Light into kill. Uh, could knock out. This time, Sandstorm's gonna be looking for the spear right off the bat. Seeing what he can do with that. He actually did a solid amount of spear damage last game, even though he did about a half of the damage in total with the Scythe. I think the Mirage is a great pick for him. Of course, Spear is incredibly meta right now. Mm. Nice little bit of juggling coming out from Balloon Boy. He's seeing the success of the bow so far and wants to stick with it. There's that mm. side sig that came out from Sandstorm, that leap forward. Oh, nice dodge attempt from Balloon Boy. Oh, Clean. wow. So 
so strong from Balloon Boy. Finding that Sarah off the stage, tracking Sandstorm down. So the success that he's having with the bow this game is very much like right away this game. Okay, mm. also the neutral signature there because last game he did 269 damage on the gauntlets and he did under 100 on the bow. Last game was a gauntlet game. Wow. This game is a bow game. And you see, like even though he's getting handled a little bit right now, perfectly spaced to get away from that ground pound. There's again the side signature from Sandstorm. He's trying to leap with that, but his, his signatures aren't quite as safe as Balloon Boy's. Oh, all bow this game, bro. all Balloon Boy. Bro! Is he gonna get a three stock on the Sur goat? Surely, okay. surely he's not going to get the three stock. Like there's no way that that happens. I refuse to believe that he's gonna three stock the goat here. Not even in just like game one, but game two. So yeah. Balloon Boy was the one who did the adaptation. Mm -hmm. Okay. But Sandstorm getting that active input on the D-Light, throwing the other way instead of off the stage. Um, off the, well, bouncing off the stage but into the blast zone there. Very strong. Neutral signature coming out from BB Balloon Boy. Okay. Nice four or five piece. Try to go for yet another side light so he can maybe bait the dodge yet again and then go for the D-Light into the recovery. Oh, he's just going for the instant dare off the okay. stage. Again. Oh. Oh, and he got the side air as well while avoiding the weapon toss. That is a two stock for Balloon Boy. Brutal from Balloon Boy. And those stairs off the stage, I mean, we, we saw the down airs, we saw the stairs. Edge guarding galore from Balloon Boy. Man, Sandstorm. And, <laughs> edge guarding galore. Yes. Against Sandstorm. And look, 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 that's a sight oh, in his hand. That's his wait, weapon, dude. Zero. It's 476 <laughs> on the bow. I, he is out edge guarding Sandstorm. I've, I don't think I've ever seen zero zero. Is that common in, in no, Brawl? No, okay. absolutely not. <laughs> That's wild. Um, if I'm Sandstorm, I got to keep Balloon Boy two, off the bow here. One. Honestly, uh, June, I'm going to be honest with you here. When I, when I was going, look, 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 I was talking about that Sandstorm had his weapon. He had the scythe on the edge, and Balloon Boy still owned him. And then when you got excited, I was like, oh, yeah, that's what he's pointing at. I didn't even notice that, so you pointed that out to me. Oh, yeah, you, you were looking at the replay, yeah. and I was looking at the stats. You saw the numbers. <laughs> so I wouldn't have even noticed that unless you went crazy for it. Wow. Um, but now Balloon Boy on the bow, Sandstorm on the scythe. Um, let's see if Sandstorm can get his advantage state started. Oh, I like that spacing. Avoiding the Sayer coming back onto the stage by Balloon Boy. I don't expect to see as dominant of this game, and that's just not just because I've seen 40 seconds of this game so far. I can look at the top right of my screen. I don't expect this game to be nearly as dominant as the last one for Balloon Boy. Mm -hmm. He's, he's already on gauntlets, so that that's a <laughs> doing worse than last game. Yes. <laughs> He's probably hoping for the bow weapon spawn that he can get to as quickly as possible. He's kind of sticking up on that soft platform, staying away okay. from Sandstorm. There's the weapon spawn in. Does get the recovery. Has plenty of time to get over. He doesn't want to chase because he really wants the bow. Wow. So he can find the side signature. Unfortunately, it bounced off the middle of the stage, or really the edge of the stage, and took away some of that momentum. Mm -hmm. I like how Balloon Boy is trying to find the ooh, there nice we go. spacing to get that knockout. Um, but yeah, Balloon Boy was using those gauntlets pretty well to try and find a confirm, uh, but ultimately got that signature instead. But back on the bow, this is the Balloon Boy special. So it seems like, at least so far, win condition for Sandstorm needs to be to keep Balloon Boy off of the bow. The next weapon he picks up, I don't think he primed it, so it should be Gauntlets whenever he picks it up. That's what Sandstorm needs to force him onto, either being unarmed or getting the weapon that he is not as strong with against Sandstorm. There's a sidelight into the recovery. I was almost expecting a dash landing into like a D-light into something or a sidelight into something to keep it going off that soft platform. Uh, yes. There's the recovery from Sandstorm. Sandstorm finally finding that uh, confirmed into the knockout the percent was looking the it was a dark color <laughs> so very high yes it was high it was high deep into that red let's see balloon boy one thing oh. that like is the reason to play Zariel, aside from like you know Bo having some consistent KO options, solid damage build, great range, is specifically the signatures. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to rely on the D light recovery and all the damage it takes to build up to that to get the KO. There's the side light into the delay. Oh, so smart catching the dodge there, oh, Balloon Boy, so good. Oh, nice anti yeah, yeah, with the end lights. Even the GC D light into the side air, man. Wow. Uh, who like who is who is this Balloon Boy? I'm telling you, I think it's something because he has double gen and Sandstorm's been playing tech and he just doesn't know how to deal with it in this game. You're telling me this character is not 3D? Yeah. 
He's he's trying to like backstep into the background. Like this is a 2D game, brother. Where is the electric wind god fist? <laughs> There's no super meters, there's, there's, there's none of that, man. There's no gray held, what am I doing yeah. here? Why is Devilgen shooting me with the bow? <laughs> Over on the edge, see if he can clutch this out and get a second oh, two stock. Almost Again. getting the dodge read, but yep. Sandstorm smartly dodging a bit away. It's the bow in hand, okay, denying the two stock, Sandstorm. He's gonna need something big here. That's why he's swapping back over onto the site. That gives him so much string potential mm -hmm. that, he, like, he made this this weapon made him, but also he made this weapon have as much gravity in the Brawlhalla scene as it does. And oh, smartly staying by the edge, trying to get the reversal here. <gasps> I oh. thought he was gonna pick up that nair, dude. While Balloon Boy was like almost out of jumps, I thought that was it right there for him. Oh my God, it's so scary here. I feel like Sandstorm can still win this, yes. even though the percent is so high. It could just be one hit at a time with some insane neutral from Sandstorm, or it could be a massive edge guard. Oh, oh the neutral light is enough. And Balloon wow. Boy is now up 2-1 in the set as we head into game four. Wow, who could have predicted this? Not me. <laughs> not, not, not you. Sandstorm's your number two, right? Sandstorm's my number two. <laughs> Although outside I did say Balloon Boy was going to get fourth, I just can't, I don't have the physicality and the athleticism <laughs> to make that happen. Oh, uh, wow. And yeah, such a good and light anti air, as you pointed out. Pretty even spread of damage yep. there. 322 on bow. And oh, Sandstorm going to the Tezka. Three, looking for those two, boots, one, vortex uh, strings. So he said he might potentially bring out a Magyar. Still, it's Sandstorm. We don't know if he's like lying and that's like a bit that he's running or whether that's an actual choice because again, he like he won a tournament with Magyar in the past. I think this is a much smarter choice. I think this is a much more meta pick 100% over a legend like Magyar, even though the Magyar does have great sword. Yeah, Sandstorm saying, I would like to win. <laughs> He said, he's, uh, uh, he's uh, Gojo. He said, nah, I'd win with the swap over to the Tesco. Oh, man. But Balloon Boy is looking to set up his infinite void here with the gauntlets. He's hoping to lock Balloon Boy in the place with all of the knowledge in the universe moving into his head at once, but it's not working so far. He's just like the demons that could snap out of the thing at any moment, I've seen four minutes of that show. I watched the second domain expansion. <laughs> that's all I know. So I just keep relying on that. And it didn't work on Balloon Boy. He didn't save, Sandstorm didn't save the people in the train station because Balloon Boy got the KO off the top. Dude, what is happening? Oh my God, Balloon Boy is destroying Sandstorm right now. And tried to get the dodge read, but Sandstorm unable to follow up there. And Balloon Boy looking to extend this lead even further. I think this is a bow. Oh, okay, it was gauntlets. I, I lied. I'm a liar. It, it happens. Honestly, <laughs> players don't even consistently know the next weapon that they are going to pick up at all times. So you're not foolish for not knowing that. <laughs> That's a very normal thing for the literal best players in this entire game. Okay, and gauntlets. Oh! oh! The delay there on the dodge, hoping to pick something up after that. He's still okay. trying to get this stock. He finally does, as he's carrying Balloon Boy from the right side of the stage to the left. Okay, Sandstorm on the boots now. This is good. This is going to be how Sandstorm builds up that percent. Uh, and Balloon Boy still unarmed here. Okay, no dodge read. That end light has been doing work for Balloon Boy. It's so strong. It's so quick. It's so safe. It can be difficult to punish. Of course, it works like an anti-air. You can also hit it stack. It can also eventually even be a KO move. <laughs> oh my god. That, that move does everything. It, huh? it truly does. It is a very strong move. Wow. I like that weapon thrust into Sayer. Ooh. Man, Sandstorm showing a lot of restraint here and a lot of respect to Balloon Boy, who, of course, like we said earlier, and even more so now as he's up to one, like he's well earned that respect. He deserves that respect. And that's why Sandstorm's not just going completely off the wall over on the edge. Mm -hmm. Sandstorm is down on match point. Uh, or if he, Sandstorm loses, he will be out of this uh, winner's side bracket. And that would be wild. That would be wild. Keep in oh. mind, we were talking about how like Sandstorm is really good and how he had his dominant era. And some people were like, okay, well maybe he's gonna be oh. washed now as Sandstorm all of a sudden takes the lead here, just barely getting that stock off the top with the recovery. But I mean, experience, one of the top players in North America was like, actually peak Sandstorm is now. 
So this isn't a diminished sandstorm. This isn't a sandstorm who was like washed and retired. This is, according to players, much greater than myself. This is still peak sandstorm. Yeah, and, and I thought that edge guard was very creative. Kind of the, the mix of the reserve and the aggressive style of edge guard. Um, and sandstorm was able to find that. But now, getting some gauntlets pressure started. Oh. Are we about to see why he's the goat? He has the damage lead here. All of a sudden, everything changed. That second stop. I know. I was about to say that, Sparky. What a comeback here from Sandstorm. Oh, he, he like didn't attack with boots after like 10 seconds. That's not a normal boots thing. <laughs> Normally, those players are itching to press the buttons because it's a very good weapon, and you can throw out some of those attacks. Is he going to do this? The dodge of the weapon throw on reaction? Wow, Sam's Look at playing so well. Just moving back. He didn't even dash back. He just barely walked backwards. <laughs> oh, but Balloon Boy's still in this. Can nice get... reset. Both of them play so safe. <laughs> Almost KOing. I don't think he can take another one of those. Sandstorm's probably, yeah, okay, he, uh, he's not gonna edge guard anything crazy. He's just gonna throw that. I don't even know if he wanted to, like, drop there or if he wanted to just oh. throw that out over the edge. Is Sandstorm gonna get this comeback? Just Whoa. barely picking up with a neutral oh air, but Sandstorm closes it out. 2-2, two, two. we're going to a game five, Sparky, and that was so impressive. Both by Sandstorm bringing it back, that second stop. This, this was all Sandstorm, by the way. This, like, whole, okay, yeah. He was started at two stocks, yellow percent, yellow, damage and now and yeah there's the uh, recovery he's so good man. yeah he's so good it. his ability to clutch up in that moment there is like one big asterisk that i'm going to point to okay. and it's that he had to do 655 damage june we're going to do a little bit of live math oh. here we're going to do 655 divided by three i don't know if you're a mental math three. warrior that's that is 200 something one. oh yeah that's that's correct that's yes. correct it's exactly 218 you turn red at 150. Now, normally you're not KOing there unless you pick up like a lucky signature or something interrupts your in-air movement economy and you happen to fall and lose your stock. 218 damage. That is so much damage past red. That's really inefficient. Some of that is going to be the higher defense that Zariel has, but it's also oh. the fact that Sandstorm wasn't really hitting signatures before, but all of that is now maybe about to change. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if this is more common in Brawlhalla, but we, we have this thing where a top player wins a close game, they immediately start out the next game destroying yes. their opponent. Yes. It, it's the top player diff. I the, think we the, the most that we have that is usually in like game one, mm -hmm. like Balloon Boy will take it and it'll be like, oh, yo, Balloon Boy took a game off of the Sandstorm and then like then Gamer leans forward, yeah, yeah, yeah. lock in, and then all of a sudden it's a 3-1 very quickly. Right, right. Sandstorm, oh, great confirm there. Sandstorm looking to build this lead. I'm thinking we're going to get the situation you might have just laid out for us. Fortune Teller June here telling us the future. Hey, I, I'm, I'm just saying it how I see it. Oh, wow. Almost a great call out there from Sandstorm. And all of a sudden, the Balloon Boy bow strings that were working out so well, those games that uh, he won, and we're not seeing those. And part that's part of Sandstorm's pressure here and, and part of Balloon Boy just feeling a little less confident. The range just isn't oh as successful God. anymore. He's not able to find the D-Light oh. openings. He's not able to touch Sandstorm hardly at all on the edge now. The range that he has with the down air, if mm -hmm. you're below Sandstorm and he's bringing the pressure to you, like you have neutral air, do you burn a dodge to try to go for the in-light for yeah. the more range that you have on it? Probably not, because that means you're going to be burning your dodge. Oh, I thought he was going to recovery right there. Oh God. Yeah, Sandstorm's advantage has been so strong this game. Oh! Okay. All right, Balloon Boy still not getting the kill there. And, and Sandstorm, man, so much damage here. Already got Balloon Boy at mid percent. I don't, I, I don't know if he's just like fishing for a signature, like yeah. trying to find the opportunity where the signature will be able to KO, yeah. or if he's looking for the recovery as an option. Yeah. Okay, there's uh, a lot, the recovery lot of recoveries. coming out there. Yeah, I, I saw a lot of yeah, recoveries by the side of the stage, and then we saw the raw recovery in the center. Uh, but now, Balloon Boy, Boy's got a mountain to climb. I don't, uh, man, it's... 
I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. Uh, he's no. been able to take it to game five, which is huge. But again, like you, yeah. uh, uh, I, I know y'all are tired of hearing. I like, I know y'all are tired, tired of hearing about it. But like, he's Sandstorm is so good. He's so good at virtually every situation. He's been such a good player for so long that he's been in virtually every situation and found success in it. Wow. That's an orange almost KO. That would have been hugely the cross early. Cross under save. Yep. So smart. Oh, Sandstorm's all the way out there trying to get... Okay, wait a minute. Oh, Balloon Boy somehow gets back. Sandstorm, like, had a stock to burn. So even if he fell there, like, he was still in pretty good spot because KO damage is on Balloon Boy right now. There's the oh. Nair. Oh, he's searching. Oh! He went for the gravity cancel there instead of trying to follow up with the recovery. Very interesting. Maybe that's some of that Sandstorm creativity. <gasps> Bouncing oh. off. Oh, that's so unfortunate for I Balloon know. Boy. Okay. That's gonna be no I'm so somehow. Mad. I'm so mad, dude. <laughs> How did that not uh, knock out from the center of the stage? Oh, finally getting the confirm. But man, red percent, dark red percent. Oh, I don't think it's gonna take much. Even an unarmed recovery might be able to do it here. Oh. Balloon boy setting up the edge guard. Oh, further sending Sandstorm away so we can have weapon control. Very nice. smart. Okay, and on the bow, this is the weapon that's been doing a lot for him. But back to the gauntlets. I love the weapon starving from Balloon Boy. Oh, he God. really went for it there. <laughs> He's not going to be able to keep this weapon away from Sandstorm. It's Gauntlet v. Gauntlet. Sandstorm oh. built part of his career on the gauntlets of Mordex. Oh, they're both just jumping around each other. Oh, looking for the D-Light. Oh. If Balloon Boy clutches this, he's the best player in the world. Yeah, Balloon okay, Boy might be the GOAT. This is scary, though. It's back to boots. It's not going to take much here. Exclamation oh. point's coming out. Sandstorm made a move. Blue Whoa. Boy gets back to the main stage. Oh, oh my god. They're, they're both just jumping around each other. Oh. No, that's it. Whoa. Blue Balloon Boy. Boy. Oh. He went for the big stage.